Students, today's class agenda is chemical hair relaxers, relaxer classification and relaxer pH. Chemical relaxer is uh, permanently making the hair from curly to straight form using a bowl and a brush method. Types of relaxers are thiogel or thiocream and hydroxide relaxers. Hydroxide relaxers are made of hydroxide ion as an active ingredient. That OH minus is the hydroxide ion that shows in the chemical formula of each one of them. So the classification is 1, sodium hydroxide, 2, potassium hydroxide, 3, lithium hydroxide, and 4, guanidine hydroxide. The first three are also called metal hydroxide relaxers. The last one, the fourth one, the guanidine hydroxide relaxer, is a kind of relaxer that is more gentle to the scalp. It means it doesn't burn the scalp. But don't be fooled by that. It still has that OH minus hydroxide ion, this one. That means it is still a strong relaxer. Thio relaxers, also called AGT relaxers, are ammonium thioglycolate relaxers. They're milder than sodium hydroxide relaxers. Thio relaxers soften and swell the hair. They have a pH above 10 and they're highly alkaline, but not as alkaline as sodium hydroxide relaxers. Let's see it on a pH scale. pH scale stands for potential hydrogen. pH scale ranges from 1 to 7, acid, from 7 to 14, alkaline. 7 is neutral. The hair is from 4.5 to 5.0. Thio is from 8 to 10 on the pH scale. That means it's alkaline. Look how far it is. From the hair. Sodium hydroxide is from 12 to 14. That's pretty high. Hair again is 4.5 to 5.0. So hair that is exposed to sodium hydroxide will go very far on a pH scale. Now neutralizer is acid. So when we apply this one or this one which is alkaline per alkaline relaxer or a sodium hydroxide relaxer we have to neutralize it. We have to bring it back. Neutralizer could be from 5 to 7, sometimes even 3. What else is this 3? Is lemon and also vinegar. They're highly acid. Also, hydrogen peroxide. It is an acid. So neutralizer, peroxide, vinegar, lemons are acid. So is the hair also the skin to understand the alkaline ammonium thioglycolate sodium hydroxide salt and drain cleaner those are all alkaline examples both sodium hydroxide and ammonium thioglycolate relaxers soften and swell the hair here's an example of a hair shaft that has the cuticle layers closed being normal this is poor porosity. This is good porosity, a little open. When we apply the relaxer, then it softens and swells the hair, opening up the cuticle layer and expanding the hair shaft, making sure that the product penetrates to the cortex or the cortical layer of the hair and break the disulfide bonds which are in the cortex. Disulfide bonds are two sulfur bonds in the cortex. When we apply the relaxer to the hair, it breaks the disulfide bonds and softens and swells the hair. So the hair, when it's 4.5, the cuticles are closed. And then it goes to 8 to 10, which is the thio. The cuticle is more open and expanded. When it goes to 12, which is sodium hydroxide relaxer, it's completely blown open. So to bring the hair from this position to this state, you need a neutralizer. 
But for ammonium dioglycolate, the neutralizer would work better. But for sodium hydroxide relaxer, the neutralizing shampoo somewhat balances the hair. But this is what happens to sodium hydroxide relaxer. It's a process called Lance ionization. When in normal hair where the disulfide bonds are completely rebonded with the thiol, come sodium hydroxide relaxer, the sulfur that was supposed to be here with the disulfide bond to go back rebonded, it does not rebond. When you do a perm and when you do a thiol, the disulfide bonds, they connect. When land ionization happens, when you do sodium hydroxide relaxer, all of this is wiped away. So all of the sulfur bonds are wiped away. That is called length ionine bond. So the hair after relaxer, it looks like it has holes in it. And sometimes there's a protein loss, there's elasticity loss. And the hair is not strong as it used to be when it had the double bonds, the dulcified bonds. So at State Board, when they ask you about lanthanization, is a process when you apply the sodium hydroxide relaxer, and when you neutralize, it doesn't completely go back connecting the two disulfide bonds, the two sulfur bonds, and the bond is empty. All of this is gone making to a land ionine bond, and the hair does not look like it was before. In that case, there's a loss of elasticity, there is a difference in texture, and there's a change in porosity. The hair is more porous. So to remedy, somewhat remedy, you cannot completely bring the hair back. You could use acid shampoo, hair fillers, protein packs are really good. Pre-neutralizing conditioners. Pre-neutralizing conditioners are the ones that when you open up the hair and you have the uh, cuticle open and you already processed the hair, you can rinse it, pre-neutralize the hair with the conditioner, like force the conditioner into the hair. After. So the neutralizers and neutralizing shampoos close the cuticle and reharden the hair. So because the hair goes through so much, the relaxer steps are processing, neutralizing, and conditioning. There's three steps. So you process by applying the chemical, soften and swell the hair, and then you can neutralize it or neutralize shampoo it. And then the last step, which is also a mandatory step, is to condition it to bring it back, to feed it with conditioning packs or fillers or anything that will remedy the hair. Please note that sodium relaxer cannot be used on hair treated with thio. Why? Because there are different kinds of chemicals and it will break the hair. If anybody has had perm with ammonium thioglycolate, and they want to relax their hair, please use thio with thio. So you use the ammonium thioglycolate to do the perm, which is the perm solution. And if they want to relax or you want to relax their hair to straighten it, uh, you can use a thio gel or thio cream, which is practically the same kind of chemical. Needless to say, you cannot use the relaxers on hair treated with metallic dyes. Well, what are the differences between lye or no lye relaxers? So, a no lye relaxer is the one that you only base around the hairline because the product has the base cream inside. So, you could do around the hairline, you could do over the ears, and that's fine. So, around the hairline. The lye relaxer, number one, is the one that you base around the hairline and around the subsections, all on the scalp. But you gently apply the base cream, which is protective base cream, to protect the uh, client's scalp because it's a very strong relaxer and it might burn the client's skin. 
new relaxers have emerged and there are thermal ionic relaxers, the Brazilian blowouts, different kinds of relaxers that require a long time processing but are more gentle to the hair and some of them could be not permanent but demi-permanent relaxers. There is a myriad of them out there in the market. Well, the methods of application are bowl in the brush method or back of the comb method. We just use the back of the comb, you apply and you smooth. But you have to wait until it processes to use the back of the comb also to smooth. When applying relaxer, always wear gloves. So here are some safety precautions. You should check the scalp for presence of cuts, abrasions and diseases and have a client sign a release statement which informs the client that some damage may occur to the high pH of the product and that client's release statement does not completely protect the hairdresser or the salon for malpractice liability. Also do not apply hydroxide relaxers on hair that has been previously permed, relaxed with dye relaxer, colored with metallic dyes, on extremely damaged hair, on hair shampooed prior to service, and on scratched scalp. Other safety precautions are do not use hair iron, excessive heat, and pulling on chemically relaxed hair. Do not shampoo before a hydroxide relaxer. Avoid scratching the scalp when rinsing the hair. And always follow the manufacturer's instructions. For my students, for more videos, if you like the videos in a PowerPoint form, and if you like to put the music in the background, it promotes learning. You can review those videos five times because five times brings positive recall.